Doesn't look like we'll be able to find anyone here. The monsters are all that's left. This one's got your name on it! Fire! Well, <laughs> with rocks. Feeling lucky? Ha! Feeling lucky? Intel said the Children of Echoes need support, too. Let's head over. These warriors are struggling! Quick, let's help them! Need a surfboard? Gather! Order guide you! Watch out! Hiya! This one's got your name on it! Attack! Solidify! This is order! Coming at ya! Stabilize! Yeah. A proper send down! From the Stina with this one's got your name on it! Hiya! Ha! Ha! Hiya! Ha! <laughs> Order guide you! Solidify! Ha! 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 Thank you so much! You save the day. The enemy attacks grow stronger with each wave. We're nearly at breaking point. Given how few of us are left, I think it's time we cut our losses. This space is as good as gone. Yeah, everyone needs to stick together. Best to regroup somewhere else. Better late than never. Time to evacuate. Warriors, gather round. For anyone who still wants to fight on the front lines, the Children of Echo's front is the closest to here. Anyone who wants to leave will likely also see action as they evacuate, but will be afforded safety at the stadium. Those are the options. We're abandoning this base, and you're free to stay with the group or leave. With our limited numbers, I can't promise that we'll be of any real assistance to the Children of Echo's war effort. Even if we do join them, please bear this in mind as you make your decision. Now then, anyone who wishes to keep fighting, show me how serious you are! Really? Even after my less than rousing speech? Why would we give up now, after everything we've been through? We didn't stick it out this far just to admit defeat! We can't give another inch to the Abyss. We have to fight them back. If not for our own sake, then at least for our fallen brethren. Very well. For Natlan. For Natlan! We may be few in number, but our will remains strong. We will join the ranks of the Children of Echoes, and they will be stronger for it, however little. Okay, well, take care of yourselves. Don't worry. It'll be just like another Night Warden War. We'll force the Abyss back if it's the last thing we do. That's over towards people of the Springs Territory. From what I've heard, their defenses have been substantially weakened by the Abyss invasion. Then let's head over and check on them!
Park. At least with regular abyssal pylons, anyone with a vision can destroy him. But this thing, no one's seen anything like it before. It's like a part of that sky demon's body or something. <sighs> Whatever it is, it seems like it can spawn abyssal pylons, and with them, a never-ending stream of abyss monsters. <sighs> We're just no match for it. At this point, retreat looks like our best option. We're fighting a losing battle here. The stadium is our only hope. That's where the sacred flame is, which seems to be the one thing that Well of Abyssal Energy is afraid of. The Pyro Archon is guarding the flame. As long as that continues, we still have hope. Hmm? What's this? Water. And some snacks. You look like you need it. I'm guessing you've been supporting the fight all over the map? Sounds like you need a breather. We got enough people to hold our own here, and it's high time you took a break. Why don't you sit down and gather your strength for a minute? It's true. We've been fighting pretty much non-stop. Traveler, you must be exhausted. What do you think? What is it? Oh, you're right. Well, then guess we'd better go warn them. Um, it's your decision. If you want to set off right away, Paimon will come with you. It's you guys. Things are bad here. Something fell out of the sky that's impervious to our attacks. It's a good thing you did, otherwise we might not have made it in time. Kachina, he and I can deal with the remaining monsters and abyssal pylons. You should go catch up with the rest of the group before your parents start worrying about you. Stay safe, Kachina. Come on, let's get this done. Let 
Yep, that's everyone. And no more casualties by the look of things. Yeah, this is, uh, good. We can evacuate shortly. I, I appreciate your help. How are, how are things out there? Pretty dire, I bet. <sighs> Some of the things I've seen, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get them out of my mind. Are we in Natland doomed to this fate? I've never witnessed a full-scale abyss of Asian before, I mean... I'd heard stories about the sky being painted black, but I always thought that was an exaggeration. Mawika has witnessed this all before, so she knew better than anyone the terror and despair an abyss of Asian would bring. Yeah, and despite that, she's still facing it head on. We've had to abandon our homes and chase the dying light of day, and maybe the only time we'll see the dawn again is in our dreams. But as long as there's even a sliver of hope, I am not going to give up. We should catch up with the group. Let's go! to rest for a while. But how, right? Everyone's struggling just to defend themselves. There is no spare manpower. At this rate, it won't be long before even the stadium is indefensible. And with everyone congregating at the stadium, the Abyss forces will start converging there, too. 
Then there will be a battle on a scale much larger than anything we've seen so far. On the bright side, at least my old injuries aren't playing up at the moment. It means I can actually join in with the fighting. The crux of the issue is that the heart of the Abyss itself has joined the invasion. That's a power we just can't match. I have every faith in the courage of our people. The Natlanese will never give in to despair. But still, the fact is, our lives are more fragile than our spirits. Traveler Paimon knows what you're about to say. Yeah, Paimon sure is getting tired from all this flying, but it doesn't matter. Wherever you go, Paimon's going too. Yep, we'll leave the children of Echoes to you guys. Flower Feather Clan, hang in there. We're coming. If there was ever a time to push ourselves to the limit, that time is now! Wait! Over there! It's just getting Queechy! Yeah, traveler! Over here! Hurry! How's that, Koichi? Any better now? Koichi! Koichi! Jaska... I used to think Mom and Dad were crazy for adopting you. I was the younger sibling, but I always felt like it was my job to help Mom and Dad take care of you. I thought I could set you free from the abyssal energy you struggled with. I guess I was pretty full of myself, huh? Thinking I could fix you when... Well, we were always the same. Hush, Koichi. Put those thoughts right out of your mind. We'll be at the stadium in no time, okay? I'll carry you there. The abyssal contamination is gone now. Just rest, and you'll get better. I was always nagging you to slow down. Stop rushing headlong into things. <sighs> I just didn't want anything to happen to you. Or to anyone else because of you. I worried about you so much. But now, I realize... I never really understood what it's like for you. The fact that you survived an abyssal contamination was a miracle. But it also left you in a constant state of agitation. <sighs> the fact that we became family was another miracle. But with me worrying about you all the time, it feels like I just agitated you even further. No, absolutely not. Nothing could be further from the truth, do you hear me? All you ever did was love me. Same goes for mom and dad. I've always known that. And I feel terrible because... I really did want to get along as a family. It might take me some time, but... I'll find a way to make it work. 
I'm so sorry, Koichi. I never meant to make you feel this way. It's okay, Chaska. No need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. No one did. It's nobody's fault that things didn't turn out great. I get it now. So, no nagging from me this time. You keep forging ahead, sis. Never slow down and never hold back. <sighs> Spread your wings and fly free. Like the fiercest kookasaur in the sky. Show the world who the bravest flower feather warrior is. <sighs> because that's who you are. And that's the sister I'm proud of. Koichi! Koichi! Koichi? What was that just now? It looked like abyssal energy was flowing out of her, but then... A split second later, it disappeared. Koichi did say that Chaska needs to let off steam now and then. Or she'll end up losing herself. But this time she wrestled back control. If only we were faster! Dealing with abyssal contamination is a piece of cake for you! We could have gotten to her earlier than you could have treated her before... Before it was too... Wait... What's happening to Cheska? How unfair life can be. She's had the odds stacked against her from the very beginning. And each step forward has been an agonizing one. Maybe she would have been better off embracing her pain. But her journey goes on, and one question looms large in her mind. If she could rise above the layers of pain, and ascend over the dark clouds of her mind, what then would she find? Maybe the glorious light of the sun, or maybe a dark, empty void. There is only one way to find out. She needs to spread her wings and soar to new heights. That is the true meaning of life. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured. And finally, transcended. <sighs> Let's take Koichi somewhere safer.
Please, take care of Koichi for me. I still have more important things to do. Of course. We are grateful for her service. Yes. She served selflessly. I'm sorry, Chaska. It's all right. I'm far from the only one going through this right now. Kuichi wanted to be a hero. And in my heart, she always will be. If we want to honor what she stood for, not to mention her sacrifice... Archon, we need to hurry. Hmm. Time for this war to end. Everyone, are you ready? A bitter war lies ahead. Our victory begins in each of your minds. So ignite the spirit of victory for me. May no further lives be lost, and no one else made to suffer the loss of their loved ones. As long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Its blaze will become one with the gaze of all Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. Stone engraved in echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, and ashes be reborn. For flames born anew. And the blazing dawn. A hero scaled the volcano to seize the sun. Anointed with flames, she shone with the light of a thousand stars. Now, guide me in my first step. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism, and send him off with this final tribute. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured, and finally, transcend it. Heroes of the Ages! Our moment has finally come! We unite as one! Baptized by the Turnfire, bearing an ancient blessing. Knowing true power and accepting a fate of devotion, we embrace the transcendent flame. For Natlan! For Natlan! of the Pyro Archon Hollerin, I declare the Night Wars underway! 
The Ode of Resurrection will guard all life till the war is over! That is an outright scary level of power. So, from now on, all warriors will be able to resurrect themselves using the Sacred Flame. That's right. No more casualties. It's time to wipe the enemy off the face of the Earth. And to reclaim our lost territory. Uh, we'll come with you. Baimon, Traveler. I'm so grateful you got to us when you did. You gave Koichi the chance to say those words to me before the end. If I'd lost control out there in the wild, this counterattack might never have been possible. Probably best not to think about that. More importantly, how are you feeling now? Any better? <laughs> not really. But now is not the time to deal with it. In the spirit of VUCA, I have to rise above it. The conflict and suffering in me are there to test my character. My struggle will make me stronger, and make me the person Koichi believed I can be. All right, let's go show the Abyss what human beings are made of. They'll be sorry they messed with Natlan after we're through with them. Need a surfboard? Off we go. Let's ride. Solidify. This is order. Feeling lucky? Turn that line. my aim. No, no, you're good, Archon. It didn't hurt at all. Plus, it was freaking cool. <sighs> Not great for your eyesight, though. Oh, yeah. Fair point. Ugh, a house coming in way too hot. Is it possible to mute him? Done. Thank you, Malika. Double down. Use the Pyro Archon's power and show no mercy. Gina, 
Over here! I'll send you up! It'll be quicker! Okay, everyone's safe. Granny, please go on ahead with the others. I just need some more time, I promise. I won't hold things up. Oh, Roron! Leave the vegetables and aphids behind, you dimwit! It's too dangerous! We crushed it! The Masters of the Night Wind are also safe. Should I go support the Flower Feather Clan? Things are still pretty rough over there. I'm already en route. <sighs> no need. I just dealt with it. Already? But you're just at the stadium! <sighs> Yeah, well, you have no idea how long I've been itching to bash some heads in. Oh! Fair enough. Ian-san, what should we do about the Collective of Plenty? Your home's a long ways away from the stadium. Oh, no need to worry. I just heard from Verisa. She says they're safe now. Game plan was to outnumber us, and that ain't gonna work now that we have the Ode of Resurrection on our side! We ain't gonna let them get away with that! Friends, let's gather at the stadium! More abyss tumors have descended, all near the stadium! Let's split up and take them out! Oh, we need someone to guard the main entrance! All right, this is the final battle! Woohoo! Yeah! Stabilize! We'll have 
have order. Solidified. Fellow warfare, I guess. Everyone, we are gathered here to celebrate a glorious victory. It is a victory forged by each and every one of us, and we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. We emerge victorious from another crisis to declare, our beloved Natlan is saved! Woo! All right! I must caution that this war is not yet over. We have not destroyed our enemy, merely driven them further into the depths of the Night Kingdom. But the Abyss underestimated Natlan's forces, and they have suffered a devastating defeat. It will be a long time before they are able to pose a threat to us again. After making some preparations, I will launch my final counterattack. I shall strike them in their lair and wipe them out for good. Oh, man. <sighs> Wait, Archon. Are you saying you're going alone? Yes. The abyssal energy there is too strong. Contact with it would be instantly lethal to anyone else. I'm sure you're all still fired up, and you must be eager to take the fight home to the enemy. But I must ask you to temper your ambitions. I will return victorious, for all of us. It's kind of a shame that we can't join him with a final showdown. Please, look at the bigger picture. Thanks to every one of you, we have already secured an enormous victory. Tonight, we should celebrate to our heart's content. Uh, I guess if our lives are no longer at risk, things can basically go back to normal, right? That's good enough for me. Beats having monsters everywhere. When the time comes, I will gather everyone here again. Now. Let us also remember those who gave their lives fighting for our nation. Once the last dregs of the Abyss are wiped out, I intend to give them the grand funeral they deserve. An ancient name could never record the many who we lost. But no hero of Natland should be forgotten. If, if I may, let's, uh, let's have a moment of silence for the Fallen. Lastly, there is one more person I must thank for his extraordinary support in our time of need, and that is the Captain. Speaking in a personal capacity, I should like to offer my sincere congratulations on your victory. Well, everyone, please enjoy the victory feast. I hope it's a chance to relax your minds and rekindle your spirits, so that we may face what lies ahead with renewed vigor. A 
must congratulate you on your efforts during this war. I'm told you have proven yourself to be an outstanding adventurer and warrior. You remind me of the princess. Similarities in your approach are striking, especially when you told me you wanted to win. I hope you will see her soon. Hey, Aurora! How are the Masters of the Night Wind doing? Granny C. Lolly's been there the whole time, and she's a tough one. I think we should be fine. I'm sure there'll be some patching up to do, though. That's a job for the young folks. I should probably head back so I can pitch in. Do you need support from the Fatui? Uh, probably not. There are a lot of older folks in our tribe, and I suspect they would find your comrade's presence a little distressing. Right, because often they look like a bunch of intimidating thugs. Well, also in my tribe, excessive use of elemental energy is bad for your eyesight. Oh, right. Okay. I'm still somewhat in disbelief that a united people prevailed against the Abyss. Do I sense some regret in your words? A degree of regret is inevitable. But above all, I feel profound admiration. You did a great job, Kachina. Oh, you're much more confident now. Seems like winning the pilgrimage gave you a real boost. I spoke to your mom and dad. They were singing your praises. They said the world's your oyster now. How are things at the people of the Springs base? There are some casualties, but the overall mood is very positive. I reckon they'll start rebuilding pretty soon. Same situation for the Children of Echoes. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it together. Let's hope that their sacrifice marks the beginning of a new age for Natlan. An age of unprecedented peace. Unless you want to get punched in the face. What is it with you, Ahau? Why are you so incapable of being nice? The Collective of Plenty was the furthest from the Abyss's entry point, so they didn't have as many monsters to deal with. From what I hear, they got off relatively unscathed. But it might have been a different story if Chaska hadn't gotten there when she did. That's good to hear. All's well that ends well! Welcome. You seem a little out of sorts. Are you just tired or...? <sighs> I guess I am. You know, when I was up there in the sky, I could see all of Natland stretching out below me. People everywhere, giving everything they had for a chance at victory. I just... If only I'd been quicker. Maybe they wouldn't have... And Koichi. Maybe she'd still... <sighs> I'm sorry. Now's not the time for that. Um, 
<clears throat> Fruit juice, right? Uh, make it a large? <sighs> True. My 500-year plan has almost come to fruition. Just one last step to go. Namely, my final battle against the Abyss. But battle is second nature to me, so... I'm not feeling a huge amount of pressure. It was so awesome. The way you exploded that thing in the sky with one almighty punch! Are you always gonna have that kind of power from now on? Oh, uh... That was the Divine Throne unleashing my full potential. And it was only temporary. I can't wield that power for any length of time. My body wouldn't be able to handle it. Likewise, the amplified power of the Ode of Resurrection was also temporary. From now on, it's back to ancient name-bearers only. Correct. We dealt the Abyss a critical blow. So for the time being, it's too weak to sustain regular invasions. I hope the people will be able to enjoy this period of peace. Or rather, assuming all goes to plan, eternal peace. We've had centuries of war with the Abyss, and it's high time we brought that chapter to a close. Anyway, there's something I've been wondering about. I know you've been at the center of some major events in other nations too, and fought many powerful foes. In this war, you were in the thick of it once again, dashing around tirelessly, supporting the fighting on all fronts. So tell me, what drives you to do this as a mere traveler passing through? Why risk life and limb for a cause that's not your own? A clear conscience. <laughs> Great answer. That's how life should be lived, to the fullest, with no regrets. What I'm really trying to say is, I would love for you, with your extraordinary talent and your sense of justice, to join me in this final step. You and I, together, finally putting an end to the ever-looming threat of the Abyss. But I also don't want to take advantage of your good nature and readiness to help others. The final battle will be very dangerous, and you have the rest of your journey to consider. I'm sure you must be weary. Sleep well tonight. Let's talk again tomorrow in the Speaker's Chamber. I'll give you more details on the final battle, and then... I hope to hear your verdict. Traveler, Paimon! There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, hey, Seat Lolly! What's up? Listen up. I have something really important to tell you. What? Are, are you serious? Natlan must pay the price for Mawika's use of the Ruler of Death's power. That price is death. And only Mawika's death can clear the debt. I had thought that the Ruler of Death might have a change of heart after seeing the people of Natlan come together and fight so bravely, but... Even now that the war's over and the threat to Natlan is gone, it looks like that death is still set in stone. I had to know your thoughts. I want to save her, but I can't do it alone. Okay, good. That makes me feel a little better. Thank you for standing up for us. There's clearly something special about you, so... If anyone has a chance of defying the rules, that would be you. 
Oh, and please don't breathe a word of this to Mawika. I'm sure she's well aware of the cost of using the Divine Throne's power. But if she finds out that anyone else knows, it could ruin our chances to help. Got it. Mum's the word. All right, that was the last major item on my to-do list. Now, since I've come all this way, I think it's finally time for a well-earned drink. I... Go, go easy, though, yeah? Don't worry, I said a drink. That means just one. All right, you little munchkin, if you keep pestering me, I'm gonna have to get serious. I get a hundred kids a day telling me they want to be the next Pyro Archon. Why should I train you? Ah, uh, nagging isn't gonna accomplish anything. No one can predict the future, and unless you have some exceptional jaw-dropping talent I'm unaware of... I can shoot those cornflakes in your kitchen from right here. Haha, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. You couldn't make that shot from all the way over here? Wait, hold on, you could hurt someone with that. Well, I'll be. You made this shot. The science of the canopy raise them tough. That's some real skill you got there, little lady. Maybe you really will be Pyro Archon one day. There's still time to join my team for the pilgrimage, you know. <sighs> no need to scowl. You lost and I won. It's no big deal. You want me to be happy for you when your turn comes, right? So cheer up. I'll get my own ancient name soon enough. And it'll be an even better one than yours. <laughs> oh, really? Well... Good luck with that. <laughs> what ancient name could beat Mollipo in our tribe? <gasps> Unless... Surely you don't mean Kiongozi? once. Can't be more than a few days now until you're officially made the Pyro Archon. <laughs> Imagine me trying to schedule a wrestling session with you after that. Excuse me, Pyro Archon, but would you be able to take a day off from running the nation to wrestle with me? <laughs> I heard that the Pyro Archon inherits the knowledge stored in the Sacred Flame. And apparently, it can change your personality. I can't help but feel a little worried. <laughs> worried that you won't be able to beat me in a wrestling match anymore? Why would I be worried about that? <laughs> Never mind. Clearly, I'm just overthinking things. Why would you forget about me just because of some new job? Even if that job happens to be Archon. <laughs> Come on, one more round. After the darkness will come the dawn. No one fights alone. Look at the sky! 
It's getting brighter at last. We walk the righteous path, and the Pyro Archon will guide us. The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. I have done what is required of me. The rules are now written into the Night Kingdom, and this will help you to stand against the Abyss. It is still not enough. All this can do is give my people courage. It will not see us through a true catastrophe. If you are to make the Natlanese alone bear the consequences of a broken world, you will have to bring more to the bargaining table. You are the greediest human I have ever met, and the fiercest negotiator. No other would seriously ask to borrow my power. My domain is death, and its power comes at a great price. The question is, are you prepared to pay? I need that power. Only a hero can truly wield it, and heroes are not afraid of dying. No. A fear of death is ingrained in all living things. If the wielder of this power cannot conquer their fear, countless innocent lives will be claimed in their stead. For only then can the price be paid. Those are the rules. Mine is a nation that will not yield to the Abyss, and it will certainly not yield to your rules. As their culture and civilization is transmitted through the generations and their faith grows, the people will go from strength to strength and reach heights that even I cannot dream of. Very well. I shall agree to help you. But I am merely a shade, and I do not have as much freedom to do as I please as you might think. Then what do you propose? Keep this a secret. If I am questioned about it, I will deny all involvement and claim that treacherous Shibalanke stole my power. That will not be a problem. Thank you. I am glad we could reach an agreement. Come in. As you know, I've asked you to come here to discuss the task of wiping out the Abyss. Oh, but first, any progress on the ancient name? I'm surprised she was willing to help you, and by extension, me. I'm very grateful to her. Wait, hold on! Wasn't the whole point of the ancient names for winning that huge battle? Why would the Traveler still need one by this point? That's right. The Abyss has retreated to the depths of the Night Kingdom, a place that has long since been corrupted by Abyssal energy. If we don't finish them off and restore the Ley Lines, the threat they pose to Natlan will remain. The battle we fought yesterday, we may one day have to fight again. This is the fate Natlan has always been resigned to. For thousands of years, we have struggled on the brink of a looming darkness and never known true peace. But this time, I want to break the cycle and free us from this fate for good. With the Sacred Flame, I can protect myself from the Abyssal Corruption, but beyond that, you are the only other person who can resist it. If your ancient name can't be forged, I will go alone. But if it can, I'd really love your help. Not completely. After all, the Night Kingdom is still plagued by Abyssal Corruption. But when I used the power of the Divine Throne, it dispelled a lot of that corruption. Plus, your ancient name is a special case, so the Lord of the Night will take special care of you. In short, the Ode of Resurrection still has a number of limitations, 
but I can promise that it will work reliably on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are we forgetting something here? What about Paimon? What's her place in all this? What? You mean we'll be separated? The Abyss is extremely devious. If you two go there together, you can bet they'll make Paimon their primary target just to put us in an impossible position. Paimon wasn't that worried, but now she's petrified. What will you do without me? Okay, well, Paimon needs to think about this because you're really asking a lot of her, but... Well, give Paimon some time and she'll do her best to rise to the challenge. I greatly appreciate it. Everyone in Natland knows how important this final battle is. You will be remembered and revered long into the future, until the end of time. If you have any other questions, please ask away. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. The work of rebuilding is underway, and people are flocking to join the effort. With everyone rallying together, I'm sure it won't be long before there's no trace left of the damage done by this war. The healing process, on the other hand, uh, that's a bigger obstacle to overcome. Many are grieving, and there's simply no replacing the ones we lost. As the sun rises once more, and we rediscover the ability to believe in the future, we must never forget their sacrifice. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. Hmm. False sky. I have heard this expression before, but I think this was the first proof of its existence. I think there's a lot of investigating to be done to understand what the fragments behind the sky are and why they were hidden in the first place. However, from what the Adventurer's Guild tells me, Neither the split sky phenomenon nor the fragments have ever been observed in any other nation. <sighs> My guess is that the Heavenly Principles wants them kept a secret. I just hope they don't cause me any trouble over it. Oh, you should be fine. We did something much crazier back in Fontaine and we're still here. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Anyway, the line I'm going with for the masses is Astronomical Anomaly and I don't expect much of a backlash. Meanwhile, we can look into it at our own pace. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. That wasn't their souls we saw, but a snapshot of them in time. All the work of the ancient name engravers 500 years ago, who made some special modifications to their names. Their souls returned to the Night Kingdom long ago, and will have been reborn in Natland since, albeit in a different form. For all we know, they may have already lived many new lives by now. And so, even though we will never meet again, they will always be by our side in one way or another. I think that gives another layer of meaning to the phrase, no one fights alone. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. We have a temporary alliance, but I can tell that saving Natlan is not his only goal. Yeah, Paimon still doesn't get why saving Natlan would be so important to him in the first place. Unless he's just a good guy who wants to avoid another Conria. But somehow Paimon doubts it's that simple. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. Based on all the interactions we've had with him and knowing more about his background, I have a lot of respect for him. I don't think he has any ill intentions. <sighs> now, we should focus on the final battle. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. The Outlander with deep ties to this land returns. And this time, he is alone. 
The power that the Pyro Archon used to strike back at the Abyss came from the Ruler of Death. From what I know of her rules, she will demand death in return. How do you know this? I see. So, the Ruler of Death sent you on your long journey. Natlan still has a final battle to fight, and I too have a final foe to face. For the sake of those countless lost souls, and a hope for Natlan's future, I need your help.